I have to be with this, so I focus on the statement, think and feel your response. I'm able to effectively respond to the stress of my life. I swipe, and then I whip, and I whip three times, and then um, it processes the sensor data. Whoa, okay. No, no one's using it yet, so it's gonna take a second for the signal, but if you, it'll show up in about a second or two. It's, it's gotta turn the servers on. There it is, feeling stressed. I'm a little nervous when I do public speaking, so. <laughs> Boom, what's up everyone? Welcome to Simulation. I'm your host, Alan Sakian. We are still on site at Consciousness Hacking's Awakened Future Summit. We are now gonna be talking to Mike Danheim. Hello. How's it going? Thank you so much for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. Very excited to talk to you about Sensi. You're the co-founder, founder? founder? Uh, co-founder. Co-founder of Sensi, which is the easiest way to measure how you feel and identify sources of stress you might be unaware of with smartphone sensors. Yes. All right, so let's unpack this. Who are you? What do you represent? That's a good question to start with. Um, so Mike Danheim, um, you know, I've been building tech startups for about 10 years now. Um, I am a consciousness junkie. I had a concussion with retrograde amnesia like 15 years ago where I had an out-of-body experience and just got obsessed with consciousness and like how was that experience possible. Um, we can we, let's get to that experience. Tell, tell us about that. That's, that's <laughs> totally crazy. Right yeah, into that. Right into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah right into yeah. that. Uh, I, I actually had two. I had one in high school from a sports injury, but then I had a second one in college uh, from a car accident. And the car accident one was uh, an out-of-body experience. The first one, there wasn't an out-of-body experience. Uh, but I um, got in this really bad car accident. Uh, it was a pileup in Philadelphia. There was a bunch of cars. Uh, and um, my friend pulled me out of the car. I was unconscious. And um, as I got out of the car, I sort of came back into awareness. And the vantage point was from the back of the top of my head but I was out of the body and I could see down. And um, when the police on the, that were on the scene would speak to me, I would toggle back in. And then when they'd stop speaking, they would go out. And it was, it was, and, and the, oh, and the, and the most important part was when I was out, wherever I was or whatever I, the seat was that I was in, was just, it was beautiful and it was peaceful and it was perfect and there was so much chaos but wherever I was in that moment, and even when I toggled in, it was still very still, but when I was there, it was just like. Whoa. And it left me very, very, I went through hell for the next year and a half after that accident and the recovery, but I was still left with a deep mark of like, what was that? What was that? And like, and also how was the body operating? Because the body was operating without my involvement. And that left me deeply curious about this organism <laughs> and how it's doing whatever it's doing. Um, yeah, how, yeah, how was it that we somehow found ourselves outside of, of us? And, right. And you said you were kind of going into the body to engage with the, the situation, the chaos, but then out. And when yeah. you were out, you said that it was this feeling of just... Just perfectness. Perfectness. Whoa. So perfect. Whoa. So Whoa. perfect. And, and another curious thing that was really strange was that when I toggled in, there wasn't um, hearing was off for me for some reason. Uh, you ever see like those movies where a bomb goes off yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and the, someone's like talking to the guy who's near to the bomb and he can see what's going on but he can't really hear it? Yeah, yeah. But there's a version of it that he, he's hearing that was sort of what I was hearing. Um, was like when I toggle back in and then when I was out, it was perfect. Yeah, just perfect. <laughs> yeah. Well, how old were you? Uh, 20, 20, 21. Damn, 21. Yeah. damn. And you had a year and a half of crazy recovery. Yeah, uh, I struggled really badly with memory recall. Uh, really badly. So uh, who I was and my family and like those Damn. memories started coming back within 24 hours. I didn't know who I was for about 24 hours. Um, but then um, everything else started coming back. Gosh. But I, the problem I had was that you would, uh, for, about eight, for about about eight months, um, was that you would speak to me and um, I couldn't remember what you just said. And the, the worst part about it was, was that there was two versions of me. There was the version of me that was um, in it. It was just kind of like, and then there was this other version of me that was sort of somewhat out of the body still and was aware that what was happening wasn't right and was like very ashamed. And so there was just like a ton of depression and anxiety and stress. And it was dark, it was dark, it was dark, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, yeah to, to be with people but not remember what they just said, to, to make social interactions oh. miserable. Humiliating, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah humiliating. 
Yeah. Wow. And then yeah. finally, after eight months, it started coming to where you, it, for s somehow the brain maybe came back to the homeostasis, potentially. I, I, I met a, um, a hippie guy. Uh, who taught me? The, I, we saw some neuroscientists, and they thought that uh, I, there was like some blood on the brain. And they thought that I was um, going to be pretty much screwed for life. And then I met a hippie guy who taught me how to meditate. And um, I mean, this no. was like, oh yeah, yeah, meditation. No. Six months, man. Six months, and all of a sudden it was like, whoa. <laughs> it's like, and better than it was before. I Two think. months in or eight months in is when. Uh, so I so I met him. This is weird, right? Because I'm reflecting back now. So I met a guy in the time frame off. I had to have been. So I had him four months in, and then I met him, and then it was, his name's Martin, and then after my work with Martin, it was about six months journey of meditation. Whoa, and then um, it started coming back. Yeah. Okay, what was he teaching you? Oh, the most simple technique. Just okay. this very simple mindfulness meditation of being aware of my breath. And, uh, you know, he used some pretty simple tactics of like, if thoughts come, just use a little hook. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that practice alone? Very simple. No way. Very That's simple. so crazy. Very, oh, when he first well, told me? Yeah, yeah. A thousand year old, pra thousand yeah. years old practice could potentially, yeah, rescue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, I, it also probably helped that I stopped doing drugs and alcohol at the time, too. I was self-medicating pretty heavily. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that I helped doing yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. I wonder too. how much we uh, yeah. weigh each variable in that scenario, yeah. because probably a good amount is the stopping of the... Yeah. yeah. Getting that out of the way. Well, when you can't socialize with people, the yeah. medication, self-medicating is... Yeah. It was, all, it was like my only shelter. You know, it was dark, man. Uh, Damn. But um, this is like 22-ish then. 22. Yeah. 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 But it was uh, the, that accident happened about a month after I was 22. Uh, and then you're you're all then kind of like after 10 months, you're like, whoa, this is cool. I'm back in this. Like, then you kind of like end up dedicating your life to. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I'm so passionate, man. I just I've been like, <laughs> if you look at my bookshelf, it's all just like consciousness, yeah. healing books, psychology books. Um, Awareness books, uh, all of it. I'm very curious. So you can now resume post uh, the 10 month period and you're getting it back and you've been mm. curious reading and mm. what we are, take us to the, you said 10 years of tech startups. Yeah. Okay, uh, that led you to Sensei. Yeah, so I didn't go like right into applying tech to the Conchi space. Um, that's been in the last four years. Uh, but I started, uh, I had a social media promotions platform um, uh, back in 2010 and 11, and I rolled that into Groupon in the early days, and I helped lead the international expansion for Groupon throughout Asia and the Middle East, which was really fun, and India. And, um, that was awesome. Uh, and then after that one, I had um, I was part of a Y Combinator startup um, called Grouper Social Club, which was uh, really cool as well. I got a group thing going on. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it was a high growth startup that was fun to be a part of. Um, and then I built, uh, I was with a team, we helped build a biometric payment solution for one of the large cruise lines in Miami, mm -hmm. where you could transact at the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's notable because um, when I was working on that, I met my partner, Thomas Kirsten, mm -hmm. who was the uh, AI um, product lead for Xbox Connect. Damn. Yeah, super smart guy. Yeah. And he was the one, we, what we were doing in our free time when we were working on that um, payment solution, we would always talk about the spirituality and like how spirituality had helped us so much in terms of our own healing and personal development. And a question that came up was, you know, why aren't more people interested in it? You know, and, and language was sort of the answer that showed up in between mm. us. And so we asked the next question, which was like, well, how can we create a direct experience with it um, without there having to be language? So mm. someone can actually experience some of these things that we're talking about with spiritual language, right? Um, and that led us to muscle testing, which is what we're doing, which is how whoa. the gesture, yeah. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, okay, so, so I'm, not, I'm not gonna use words anymore uh, to, to dive into these spe spiritual experiences, I'm gonna use muscle. Yeah, and, and an embodied experience. An embodied experience. And coming into my feelings. And I think um, a very sage mystic once said, Bob Marley is the, is the mystic that I'm referring to, uh, if I'm to quote him, I hope this is right. It was something along the lines of uh, those who feel it know it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great one. Right? And yeah. like, the feelings. It's a great way to put it. Very yeah. succinct. 
Bob nailed that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and what are we talking about? The what, what are we feeling? Those who feel it know it. I know we're putting oh, words on it. Yeah. The, is it this unity, the interconnectedness, the unbounded loveness? The, yeah, yeah. I suppose so, right? Okay. I, well, I think that's, I like the way that you framed it as a question because it does seem to be really personal, mm-hmm. right? Um, and it's like, wait, what are you experiencing? Yeah, you know, yeah. and embracing that. Yeah. And it's okay if what your experience is different than what yeah. I'm experiencing. Like, that's, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally, totally. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I just sit there for a couple seconds, man. Yeah. Like, wow. Just being, being, being with that is... Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, so how is it that we can deliver this... Mm. through Sensi. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's so funny. It depends on, like, the audience I'm talking to and which path I normally explain it. Mm-hmm. Um, and this, I'm guessing this is a broader audience. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. So, so there's a very scientific path, um, which we can go deep on, and then there's the original path. And, and what... We'll start with the original, then we can go science if okay. that works. Yeah, please. Uh, Chinese medicine for thousands of years has said that the body has wisdom. Mm-hmm. And you can consult the body um, to understand what's going on and be precise with healing modalities. Right? So acupuncture and chiropractor type work, they do that. They do these little muscle tests. Um, would it help to do an example for... Sure. So a traditional muscle okay. test is um, they extend... You can put this arm down. Okay. I put my hand here to ground me and then... The doctor, a chiropractor, acupuncture will press, and you have to resist up. Oh, I'm going to resist. Yeah, you, so you okay. press up just a little okay. bit, and it's a very okay. light press like that. And what okay. they're doing is they're looking at the recoil of the deltoid. Whoa. And, and they ask oh, questions. Oh, you can see the deltoid kind of flex? Exactly, if there's stress. So if there's stress, there's uh, like a wiggle. And if there's no stress, it's firm. Um, and in this way, you're working with the energy of the body to tailor a diagnostic. Um, and what do you want the deltoid to do? That's an interesting question, right? Because um, I think it would be a mixed response in who you're talking to, but from the people who, who uh, I work closest with, it tends to be you don't necessarily want it to do anything. Mm. You want to observe. You just want to observe you what happens. Witness. Yeah. But then is there an ideal that the body is in the healthy shape? That if the deltoid is doing something, it's healthy? Right, it's okay. Not, yeah. I see what you're getting. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Let's go back one step, because actually I I missed something that was really important, uh, and sorry about that. So, uh, and that's one of the things I love about muscle testing and the individual doing it, is your question was really good, which was, um, what do you want it to do? And so much of our lives, we're trying to optimize, right? (laughs) I want this outcome. And muscle testing really requires this, like, surrender and openness to what is. Yeah. That's good. And, yeah, and I feel like that can help a lot, well, help me a lot, um, of just, like, letting go of my optimized outcomes. And then mm-hmm. your next question, which is also uh, a good one, and I think if I understood it correctly, was it, are they in a healthy state? Yeah. Do they need to be? Um, yeah. And it would help. I don't know if it's necessary. I don't have enough research there to speak to that. But um, These thousands of years of... of yeah. Okay. But, but in those thousands of years, what they say is, is that um, if it is in a non-healthy state, we can still muscle test. Um, we can use it to identify what is at the root of that. So if you're okay. feeling anxiety or depressed, we can ask questions and identify the actual emotional stressor associated with the depressed feeling or anxious feeling. And then by identifying that, you know, awareness in itself is a healing mechanism but also with it, we can take action that's very specific to what's been identified, right? Um, okay, okay. Yeah. So there could potentially be some other sorts of anxieties or other stuff that's buried in the yeah. body, and you can potentially tell by doing these body exercises that yeah. you can you can start unpacking what could be buried in some right. of the muscle. Well, and it, and it ties into that common statement of uh, the body doesn't lie. Yeah. Everyone holds everyone's, the score. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's a really good book. I gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta read that. I haven't read it yet. I heard it's really good. Uh, yeah, how body holds the score. Body doesn't lie. These things we intuitively know and all kind of speak to, but yeah. it's real. It's like yeah, and it's very real, and you can apply that. So yeah, yeah so keep walking us down the story now. Yes. Yeah. Well, and so you can apply that and, and to help facilitate your own healing. 
um, I was just in the opening ceremony for this conference and uh, Josh Field said, feeling is healing. And that couldn't be more appropriately true yeah. for our technology, which is like, yeah, we've got to embrace our feelings yes. and um, allow them to help us see the truth, you know, what's really going on. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then, but then there's always the, uh, we, can get we can dwell on feelings and then we can uh, take ourselves potentially out of some of our uh, most actualized states as well. So it's kind of a difficult, nuanced Right. Yeah, yeah, conversation. Yeah, it's, it really yeah. is. Uh, it's a, but it's, it's a really good point. And I think it'd be more appropriate with a question, which is like, when, I, when, you, when, when we embrace something, do we obsess over it? Where does obsession occur? Mm. I don't know the answer to that, but I, mm. I wonder. Mm. 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 When we embrace mm. and integrate something, do mm. we continue to obsess, or is it now a part? Of, right. Um, well, let's say the thought arises, a thought that may be um, one that makes us feel uncomfortable, let's mm. say, and that uh, we embrace that thought mm. um, for a little bit, and then we see maybe where it goes for a little bit, but then we kind of want to return back to being in our, maybe our focused state of doing what we were doing before. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But so that is cool. I think many people can get behind that. But then sometimes I think we can too often find ourselves going into, why did I just think that? I just, this is so hard. To right. Run. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is such a good distinction. Yeah. Right. Right. And, and then in that, it's resistance. It's denial of what happened. It's rejection of what happened. It's like, why? I'm questioning and I'm regretting and mm. shaming mm. myself mm. versus. I did that. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Yeah. I love myself. Yeah. Yeah, and I and I hope to be able to reflect on what I did and and understand that I could potentially be a better um, uh, citizen of, of of the of the planet um, if I if I um, for myself and for my family for my community right. for the whole society. Okay, but yes, to set, keep keep yeah. walking us down the sensi path. Yeah. Well, well this is the yeah. path. And, okay, and, okay. We'll, 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 we'll go back to sensi. But what you just hit on yeah. is like so sage, and that's it. Okay. Which is that that's the part that we really want to get to, which is that how I treat myself is a reflection of how I'm going to treat my family, and how I'm going to treat society, and how mm. I'm going to treat my environment, and it mm. starts right here with the connection to our heart and our feelings. So if I'm in rejection of my feelings, and you show up and you're crying. I'm going to be like, this, fuck this guy. <laughs> I don't have, I haven't given it to myself, and I can't give to you what I haven't received. And so embracing my feelings and integrating them oh, damn. becomes this ability to now yeah. connect with you like this, right, and like be here together. Okay, interesting. Okay. So, and, and so, sorry, so going back to Sensi, yeah, yeah. we can put this in a way where... Damn, this can tackle a lot of the issues that we face. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. This is... Well, in the, in the especially in San Francisco, we kind of have a, um, a, a serious amount of people that are um, um, on the streets. Yeah, yeah. And that when we can potentially reflect on uh, what's going on, how mm. can it's this is very complicated, but there may be something that you're saying that that could help us. Um, drive a little bit more empathy and love and compassion towards the uh, the stories, uh, the situations, the stimuli that got people into the scenarios that they're in. Mm, mm. Um, and so, That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. This is, That's this, a big one. Yeah. That, that, and if <laughs> yeah. someone walks up to you and they're, yeah. and they're crying or if, if someone's crying or if someone, um, et cetera, and, and we yeah. haven't done a, a self-work practice yeah. where, where we are very comfortable with our own crying and mm. our own, where it will be harder for us to attend other people right. crying. Yeah. This is very good stuff. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And more people own, so to tie that into Sensi, going back to your point, mm -hmm. uh, yes. more people own smartphones than health insurance, right? So like being able to administer the muscle test with a smartphone provides the capacity to help point a person back to start here. 
uh -huh. the U.S. or in the world? More, globally. Globally, more people own a smartphone than... Oh, the, oh, that question, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I The initial data I had on that was in the U.S. In the U.S. Um, in well, the US. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. Makes, that, makes, that makes sense. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. 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 Damn. Okay, so then, w so then what are we using as sensors in the phone to be able to direct us back? Yeah. Okay. So the going back to the test. Um, so I did the muscle test. Mm -hmm. uh, the way it works, as we were talking about, is the recoil in the deltoid. Yes. And the key part is the recoil. Okay. And so knowing that, we asked the question, which is, okay, well, how do we replicate that recoil without a doctor being present? And so we created. I'm just gonna grab my phone. Yeah, please. Yes. <coughs> so we created a uh, unique whipping gesture. Let me turn my screen off. Uh, a whipping gesture. Mm -hmm. So you, it's actually three whips. You go one, two, three, and um, we get three peaks of data from uh, the gyroscope and accelerometer. Yeah. And what we're measuring is the recoil of the hand. Um, Whoa. All throughout the wrist, uh, the hand, and the forearm are muscles. And what do you, what can you learn from just yeah three whips? That's a well. What, that's okay. So there's two parts to that. There's what we're detecting, which I think is what you're asking about, but then there's how can that be applied okay. by a lot of different yeah, healing modalities. Yeah, yeah. And okay. the first one, what we're detecting is binary. It's either stress or no stress. Um, really? And that's what we can Down see. Down to a black and white level of... Binary. What? Yeah. Okay, so what is it about this whip that you can determine a binary? Uh, um, stress or no stress? Muscular tension. Um, mm. So... Uh, Whoa. And are you asking about how we initially identified the signal? Okay, so is this like, is this like when I, when I'm holding it, I'm tense, I'm whipping it all tense, and then that's like, yo, this person's stressed. Yeah, and what's interesting about that is that you could be like, I'm tense, and you're trying to force it, and you're not really tense. If you're yeah. not actually I don't really understand. tense, oh, sorry, that's funny. Uh, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you're not actually tense will pick up and not actually being tense. So you literally have to be really tense. You can't fake it. You can't fake it. Yeah. Okay, so then, yeah, because even when I was trying to do that, I was loose, but I was faking it. Right, right, yeah, I saw that in your hand. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And like, I mean, you can yeah. you can fake it to the point where you'll be able to evoke some tension, but there has to be, even if you faked it, there has to be the felt experience of Versus tension. if you're like light as a feather, and you're right. just gentle. You're just like you're trying to be like, I'm tense, but like you're super loose. It's the body, so it's the embodied experience. So since he's literally just asking me, hey, will you whip your phone three times right now? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, one, two, three. And I whip it. And then you guys are like, oh, you show a, um, a stress level of blank. Stress, no stress, binary. But the well, one part that's important is it's specific to thought. Um, so it, the way Sensi works, um, and we can show a demo, but. Uh, yeah, let's show a demo. Yeah, cool. Yeah, let's so, show a demo. Uh, so for context, we ju this we haven't even announced this yet. This app just hit the App Store last week. So this it is hit the App like, Store last week. Great, yeah. we, we, awesome. It's been we've been doing research for three years. So we had a research platform, and three this is three years of research. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what it takes to get the good stuff. Yeah, it yeah. took a while. Yeah. Uh, so this is it. Um, should I show that? Camera? Yeah. Let's let's um yeah let, let's bring let's bring it up. Uh, yeah, let's bring it up to this one. Yeah, go the, ahead and yeah. That's the dashboard this. page, and okay. um, the top two. The first button says uh, measure how you feel. Okay. So it's a, you just tap on that button, and immediately you can check in on your current state. But it prompts you with a question. It says think and feel. Um, I can uh, the stress in my life. I can I can healthily manage. It has a specific statement that you have to think and feel, and then manage you whip. stress, live better. Yeah. Practice mind and body skills are focused on improving specific areas of your life. How do you feel? So then you click on that to check in regularly to manage your health. Yeah, so you tap on this. Okay, how do you feel? And then there's the statement. I'm able to effectively respond to the stress in my life. And if you shake the phone a little bit, you'll see the sensor data moving. So just shake the phone a little bit. Move it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You can see the sensor moving. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's the gyroscope. That's the gyroscope, yeah. So we visualize the sensor. There's a gyroscope and accelerometer data, both? Yeah. You use both. Uh, our primary signal came from the gyroscope, but yeah. Primary comes from gyroscope. Um, so yeah, there it is. So uh, yeah. so I will, I have to be with this, so I focus on the statement, think and feel your response. I'm able to effectively respond to the stress of my life. I swipe and then I whip. And I whip three times and then um, it processes the sensor data.
Whoa, okay. No, no one's using it yet, so it's gonna take a second for the signal, but if you, it'll show up in about a second or two. It's, it's gotta turn the servers on. There it is. Feeling stressed. I'm a little nervous when I do public speaking, so. <laughs> Whoa. So it's pretty accurate. And uh, so it'll just show you um, just like that, uh, and then you can agree, disagree. Yeah, so for this release. agree after reflecting, yeah. And that's the non-conscious part. So oh. the agree after reflecting is our, sort of that button is our measurement of starting to see how many people we're giving insights to into like something they weren't aware of. Right? Oh, I see. Yeah, so that's oh, okay. the intention of that third button. Okay. And uh, I'll agree. And now the cool thing is, right, so now we've identified that I'm in somewhat of a stress state. Uh, it says um, explore sources of stress. So now we can identify where it's coming Slow from. Slow down, find a safe space, take a deep breath. So here's kind of some of the things that you can do afterward. Yeah. Interesting. And then it shows up green if I do that and they don't detect stress. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And so um, explore work is the first topic. Um, and now I can explore if it's coming from work. What I'm going to do is just go back to our dashboard page. Um, and these are all the topics. So it ha you can explore all these topics to see where the stress is coming from. Oh, interesting. Okay. That was my so check-in from yesterday. Okay. So, so, the, so the topic options... Okay, and then so then what you do is you can look at work, finance, well-being, self-esteem, joy, intimacy, family, flow, autonomy, random. So then when I, let's say I click on intimacy, yeah. is the, do I, does that mean I have to be in like an intimate moment or if I'm in work, I have to be at work and then I'm measuring it? No, that's okay. a good question. But it, so let's click on intimacy. So okay. intimacy opens up and it tells you how to set context to be in a neutral okay. state. Okay. Um, you just have to think about that topic. Oh, so I think Thinking. my intimate relationships are healthy. Focus on the statement, think and feel your response. And then you swipe and whip three times when ready. Okay. Precisely. So, <clears throat> so each one of those cards has their own sentence that's like my work is healthy or my intimacy is healthy. Right. And then depending on, um, on, on if that statement is is true to you, um, focus on the same thing, feel your swipe and whip three times when ready. Okay, my intimate relationships are healthy. Okay, so I focus on it, feel it. Okay. Okay. And then you whip. So I swiped, whip, one, two, three. That's fitted to me, but let's see if this is accurate. Does that feel true? It's okay. It says stress not, it says stress not detected. Um, I've been sacrificing a lot of what I've been w working on with intimate relationships um, for what we're building with the show. So, but but at the same time, I do have healthy intimate relationships. So um, also, so, yeah. this is um, you would want to do this on your own phone because you. That's be, true. This is every, yeah. This is on your phone. It's unique to me. It's unique uh, when to you, you sign up, there's demographic information you give that help with the precision of our signal. Um, oh, so, interesting. So you might get a better insight. I would overall agree. Cool. Yeah, but tap agree then. Oh, tap agree. You're giving right, feedback cool. to it. Yeah. Great job managing this part of your life. Interesting. Okay, cool. Okay, so there's there's these topics. Okay. Interesting. So then what am I what am I um, th this just gives me a more instantaneous response into feedback, a closed yeah. feedback loop into how I'm managing my stress in Air, uh, in each one of those topics of my life. And it should, um, a percentage of the time, help you potentially identify an area you might not be aware of um, that's a source of stress. And I'm really glad you hit intimate uh, relationships because that was one in our early research that um, I hit on that was like an eye-opener for me. So we had a baby, um, which I love so much. Her name is Charlie. Uh, and Congratulations, Charlie. Charlie. It's a girl. Uh, and she's uh, the joy of my life. I think I saw on the lock screen, yeah. the home screen. Yeah, that's her. It's like <laughs> a couple years old or like uh, one, and half. one and a half. One and a half. Okay. But the point is, is that um, uh, so about six months after she was born, I was exploring the protocol on intimate relationships. And I, you know, I did the statement. I did the gesture. It says stress not detected, and immediately my monkey brain was like, I'm sorry, it says stress detected, and um, if that's what I said. Uh, immediately my, um, my monkey brain was like, oh, that's not true. I want to shut it down, and then I stopped for a second. And yeah. I was like, yeah. no, it totally is true. It's been like six months, and I've totally neglected my wife since we've had the baby, and I was completely unaware of it. And like there was total stress building between her and I that like I'm pretty sure if it kept going, it would turn into something gnarly. Yeah. But in that moment, I stopped and I went and talked to her and I told her, I was like, look, I just saw stress detected on intimate relationships. Like, how are you feeling? And she's like, yeah, I definitely feel stressed towards you. And I'm like, holy shit. 
and we had a conversation and it literally transformed our relationship yeah. in that moment because we also went and changed it, you know, yeah. and, you know, got deep and intimate with each other. And Yeah. Damn. And yeah. I wasn't aware. I really wasn't aware. And I'm confident it would have went on that path of, like, you know. Right. Oh, interesting. So, so there's a couple things here. So first is that it, it do, doing, doing, um, our life trajectories can go so many different ways. Mm. And if we think sometimes that things may be going smoothly, right. perfectly fine, uh, but we don't necessarily know that the way that we actually are with um, right. one of our loved ones can be uh, on a trajectory that might not be so healthy. So to be able to check in like this yeah. and yeah. push put ourselves onto a healthier trajectory, yeah, is... Awesome. I think it's like so and like you I love the way you just described that. That was perfectly put because the way you describe that is fits so well to how fast life is moving. Mm. And as a function of the speed of our life, we stuff things down. Mm. And then we lie to it. It's, I don't I wish there was a better word for it, but we lie to ourselves. Yeah. I don't know how else to say it. Yeah. We lie to ourselves as a mechanism to help ourselves with efficiency. Mm. So it's like, yeah, my relationship's fine. Huh. Let's keep going. I don't have time for that right now, so let's keep going. And Damn. You know, and and we buy it. we believe that. You know, and damn, the pace of life is creating um, a, a potentially no time for feeling. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. I shut that one down. Yeah, <laughs> even though it was my wife. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's yeah. literally what my monkey brain it wanted was to like, do. Yeah, it's like stressed. Uh, I have to get back to work. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's fine. I'm like, Having that intimate moment with her in six months, like what? Damn. You know, yeah. uh, it's crazy. I mean, it wasn't six months, but it was long. That's a good, yeah. That's a good check-in, yeah, system. And it's your yeah. body, and that's the point. The real technology is your body, and that's really what we're looking to do with Sensi. Is we're amplifying something that's already there, which is your feelings. You know, and that's what we're really looking to carry the flag on. Is like, look, we got to come back into this. You know, we got to come back into this and find a way to love it and embrace it um, so that we can integrate it and, you know, live ha healthy, you know, uh, for a lot of reasons. Damn. You know, our emotions regulate our immune system being one of them, right? Like, that's a whole other <laughs> conversation, but so the more we get into our feelings and learn our emotions, the more we're able to manage our health more appropriately, right? Um, or more effectively, I should say. Uh, Potentially, yeah. So this is a, a this is a physical uh, way to measure with using technology uh, the current state of our relationship with work or with intimacy or how you feel. How you feel. How you feel. So that application you just saw were those things, and we're starting there. Um, but then what we're doing is we're also working with um, different researchers and healers because there's a lot of really powerful healing techniques that use muscle testing that require a doctor to be present. And now we can take those techniques and meet a much larger audience at scale. And so it's how you feel, because they're using the felt experience to identify the root cause of um, a stressor. Um, I can give examples on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So there's a doctor, she's our scientific advisor now out of Oxford University. Um, her name is Dr. Ann Jensen. She did her whole PhD at Oxford on muscle testing. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, in a lot of ways she's amazing. She has like four masters, like two postgrads, chiropractor. She's just an amazing woman. She's so smart. Um, so she also has a um, program called HeartSpeak, um, and HeartSpeak uses muscle testing to identify if stress is present based on a certain topic. So for work, for example, mm. and then identify what the emotional causes of that stressor. Is it anger? Is it fear? Is it sadness? There's like seven different emotions it goes through. And then once it's identified the emotion uh, with the muscle test, uh, she then uses a posture-based exercise to evoke the stressful emotion. Um, so let's say anger is identified with work. You come forward into a ball, you use the posture of anger, your hands are in a fist, grimacing the face, and you start creating the emotion of anger. And what's interesting is you feel it burning off as you're evoking it. So you feel anger slowly burning off. And then once it's cleared, you sit up and you smile and you pivot to joy. Every stressful emotion has a different non-stressful emotion that it pivots to. 
And when you're pivoting to joy, you're smiling, your shoulders are rolling back, your hands are open. You're rewriting the memory of work from anger to joy using the process of memory reconsolidation, which is how memory works, um, so that you can be at work and no longer feel stressed. Uh, Whoa. Her technique is so powerful. It's changed my life. Um, Would we also want to change work, though, to work that we are more passionate about doing? Right. That's a great question. And for sure. Uh, and I think another question that would follow is, would you have a, uh, would you be more effective at making the decision with a clearer mind, right? Yeah. Instead, of, instead of making the decision out of reaction to anger. That's, that's, that's great, yeah. yeah. So then you can... Be clear. Be clear. And be like, clear oh, okay, this is shit. My boss is abusing me. I need to get out of here. So you can measure the, the state of the feeling of the body. So her work is measuring the state of the feeling of the body. She's identifying muscle tension muscle in the tension muscle test. Yeah. In which part of the body? Uh, well, so she does this test. Oh. In, in her okay. manual work, she's currently doing this. Okay. And okay. she's asking the question, is it anger? Oh. It's fear. Actually, says it's. It's anger. It's fear. It's sadness. Oh, it went weak. It's whatever there's stress, you follow that and you clear that, um, that, you clear that emotion. So sadness was identified, you come forward and now you evoke sadness, and then you we retest sadness. if it's been identified as stress. And then, yeah, okay, yeah, or yeah. anger or whatever. Whatever emotion's been identified. And then you can go through a memory reconsolidation process. process. That uses posture to evoke. That uses posture. Yeah, to clear a stressful emotion and then pivot it to a beneficial emotion. So sad, sad, sad. And then so for like sadness, you're actually forward, your hands or your face is in your hands and... Um, your shoulders are rounding, your whole body's sort of going mm -hmm. limp, and mm -hmm. the posture will actually can trigger the feeling of sadness. And then so you reflect on that for a moment, and then you transition to... Uh, yeah. It's less about reflecting. We don't want to think about the emotion. We okay. want to feel it. We so want to feel it. So, we so feel she, she it. uses the right brain, left brain, and we want the left brain is sort of the logical side, right side is the intuitive, emotional, feeling side. We really want to get into the felt experience and not be thinking about it. Do you want to try? Sure. So Kay. do you want to do one? Yeah, let's do it. So yeah. the, I'm certified in technique, okay. so let's do it. So uh, just okay. uncross your legs. For okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. so, uh, so okay. we'll do the muscle test. So um, okay. bring to mind something that's stressful in your life at the moment. Whatever it is, you don't have to talk to me about it or tell me about okay. it. Just think about it. All right. Um, when it's present and you feel the feelings of stress, let me know. I, you know what we, I went right into it. We have to test something first. Say out loud, um, where do you live? Uh, San Francisco. Say I live in San Francisco. I live in San Francisco. Resist up into my hand. Oh, okay, okay. Resist that? Okay. Up? Yeah, okay. okay. Say I live in San Francisco. I live in San Francisco. Uh, say I live in Tokyo. I live in Tokyo. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. It even feels silly, eh? <laughs> it's like, right, that, that's a felt experience. The body's like, no, no, I don't. Look, look what's happening, right? This is a full embodied experience. <laughs> like, this is just ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah this is great. Yeah. Um, but if you so want, what did you feel when I? What did you feel when I? There when was I a wiggle. Tokyo? So there's a yeah. uh, in your shoulder. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a slight recoil when there. When you said I'm in San Francisco, there wasn't. Um, and you're good to go. Oh, interesting. There's a recoil. Yeah. For Tokyo. There's a bounce. Um, Whoa. Like a little. Bing, and I'm using. You felt it. Same pressure on both. Um, it's Whoa. light. Oh, it's light. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm not trying. I felt that. a recoil too. Yeah. Yeah. And so now, what I just did was I calibrated. So, so it's so. basically the body will hold the score and be like, I don't, yeah. no, I don't. It's like, no, this is bullshit. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. I mean, your, your whole body went, right? You're even laughing, which yeah, is yeah. just really cool yeah. to see. Yeah. So I asked those two questions to calibrate, calibrate. and see, because sometimes okay. you can be in a state that um, it, it's flipped, which is interesting. Um, oh, you can be in a flipped state? Yeah, yeah. So like, Whoa. Yeah. Um, we don't know why, but it's just... It's what percentage of people are in that state? Um, Somewhere between like 15 and 20, I would say. Um, and then you can also be f sort of in a fried state. So if you're like dehydrated or super overtired, like it's just not gonna work. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So that's why I calibrated was okay. to see if you're. If yeah, you're so that was the calibration. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now put the. You want me to push back? Yeah, it's just okay. that that light resistance. Little bit. Like, okay. That's good. Now okay. bring to mind whatever it is that's stressful in your life, whatever the topic might be. Okay. Okay. Stress is present. Is it? Allow me, let me know if it is. A uh, little bit. Take your time. Okay. So really be with it. So whatever the topic is, bring it to mind. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah, it's present. Uh, All right. Stress present? Yeah, good. Okay. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most severe, what would you rate it? 5. A 5. Okay, cool. Uh, the cause of stress is anger. The cause of stress is fear. The cause of stress is 
So we're going to go with fear. Um, so we're going to do heart speak light, so we can go through this quickly. Okay, okay. Um, so we're going to use okay. fear. Okay. So for fear, it's a little bit, you're going to come forward into a ball. Okay. You place your hands, or your face in your hands. I want to make sure we're in the shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. good. So okay. come forward into okay. like that, okay. right okay. there. You're, okay. I see the camera, you're in the shot. Okay. So, but really put your face in your hands so you okay. can use your facial expression. Okay, okay. I want you to feel comfortable so that you can really evoke it. Mm. So... Okay, so yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm, it, yes, yes. So I'm going to guide you through it. So there's no need to know why you're afraid now. That's not important. It's the feeling that's important. Letting go of any thoughts about fear. And just allowing yourself to have the felt experience of fear. We'll use the posture of fear, so sort of burying your face into your hands, trying to hide almost, allowing the shoulders to round, letting the body go weak. Allowing any sort of facial expression that might be natural for you to evoke the feeling of fear, whatever your face might look like when you're afraid, allow that facial expression to occur. Be brave. There's no need to know why we're afraid. That's not important now. It's just the feeling. Search every cell, tissue, and organ of your body for the feeling of fear. Keep searching for it, keep looking for it. The feelings of fear may come in waves as they start to subside. Take a breath and look again. Mm. Using the whole posture, the whole body, the face, the whole expression to evoke the feeling of fear. This is your time to clear it, be with it, allow it to be felt through the whole body. Keep evoking it. And when you reach the point where you feel like fear has been cleared, take a breath and look one more time, scanning the whole body. Mm. Cell, mm. tissue, organ of the body. Keep looking for it. And once you feel like the feelings of fear are clear, you can sit up with your eyes closed, but really take your time to be with it. Nice. Stay with your eyes closed. We'll roll the shoulders back. Now, instead of fear, reach inside and find this central column of knowing. It's always there inside. Reach in and find it. Enjoy it. Allow this feeling of knowing to permeate every cell tissue and organ of your body, feeling it from the top of your head, through your shoulders, your heart solar plexus, down through your stomach, into your hips, your thighs, your shins, your calf, your toes. Allow the feeling of knowing to wash all through your body. And when you're good there, you can blink your eyes open. Mm. Yeah. Mm. How was it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Good stuff. Yeah, um, that was good. So, uh, yeah. scale of one to ten, um, mm. what would you rate it now? Whatever that topic was. Uh, whatever that topic was, how do I rate it now in terms of what? How it, stressful it is. How stressful. Yeah. So it go is? back to it and oh, think about it. Oh yeah. So how think, stressful it is. Yeah. Now. Yeah, just shoulder shrug, you know. <laughs> yeah. What was it? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Let's just test yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah. So resist into yeah. my hand, press into okay, my hand. Okay, resist, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, and just think about the topic. Okay. Let me know when the felt experience is there. Or when you have it present. Okay, it's present. Okay. Uh, stress present? I mean, yeah, there was a little bit, but um, we could go again. But yeah, it looked way firmer. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The I think probably one of the most interesting aspects to that is uh, yeah. Come closer. Yeah, yeah sorry about that. I should yeah, turn my chair. Yeah, you're there yeah you're go. you're good there. Um, probably one of the most interesting aspects of that is the diving deep into the feeling in the body of whatever the thing was that you that we decided to explore in mm. that moment, right? So what is it, Alan? What, what, what is that thing? Mm. And then the scanning of the body for where that thing is, mm. and you're like, okay, feel it deeper. Okay, feel it deeper. Okay, feel it deeper. And then it's like, 
well, well where even where is it yeah where right where, right, where, <laughs> right, where? right. <laughs> and then it's the process of like it's non-existent yeah 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 so, so kind of you can go through maybe a process of identifying okay well I had the thought, maybe I had the feeling, mm. but then I'm scanning for it and where is it? Yeah. And then when the, that sort of central column of, of, uh, knowing. of knowing, yeah. yeah, of knowing was in, in many ways, it's like, like that's destiny in a sense, is mm. that maybe that, that mm. central column of knowing is that everything is perfect exactly the way it is. Yeah, yeah. And how wonderful is that? <laughs> yeah, how wonderful is that, yeah. So what is yeah. this fear nonsense if everything mm. is perfect the way that it is and that um, that you're meant to um, uncover that moment exactly when you're meant to uncover it with you and your yeah. wife. About, yeah. yeah. Yeah, whatever it is, right. And and then, so that technique that we're doing manually, we can now do a sensi. And so to your point, in our future release, that will be in there as a healing modality so that on your own, instead of having a doctor do the muscle test, you know, if you identify that intimacy is a place of stress, I can now identify the emotional cause, clear it. And on the other side of that, maybe have the confidence or courage to go and speak to my wife about what's going on. Yeah. Right? or whatever it yeah. is that's going on. But by be clearing the emotional state, we then have this presence where we can do anything. Yeah, Right. correct. Or we can correct. You've, you need the, this, the, this practice, well, not only of, of, of wanting to dive deeper into the current state that we're feeling, so mm. it's, it's, it's our, um, our desire to actually open up Sensi and go through that process, right. But also then of this um, this clearing, the yeah. feeling of being cleared, so that you can make um, these confident um, moves in the direction of of, um, of of doing something like healing. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. The, the whole process is a process of it's process it's a vul vulnerability, a process of of, uh, of in many ways. Um, Confidence, so you have to be vulnerable to go through this process. Then you have to be confident to take action on, right. on how you want to make that uh, change. And then um, realizing that that feedback loop that you're going through is um, potentially uh, unlocking new states of consciousness, new states of being for you, new um, yeah. fruits yeah. for you. So yeah. I think it, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Good stuff. Excellent. Three years of research to lead into even the first... Yeah. developments of the application and yeah well we just did a lot of different a lot of that research was understanding how muscle testing can be applied so we did research um, with like everything from employee surveys to food allergies to uh, positive psychology and meditation techniques and we did some work with dr. Martin and finders course and yeah we love him we yeah him. We did What's the so what's what so what's the the, the idea is that um, before I my body was keeping the score and was like no you actually like feel quite a bit towards that thing you I was set five right yeah. earlier and then at afterward um, the body was like maybe a tiny bit but you're much more like. Yeah, so you felt less of a... Yeah, I mean, the first one, there was a deep, it was a deep wiggle. And then the second one, there was a little wiggle. It seemed like. and so so the, there's still something. So the, mus so the muscle wiggles yeah, or recoils. Recoil. The muscle recoils yeah. when there's a lie. Um, this is complex when we get yeah, into this okay, level. Okay, so, but yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I love the weeds. When there's stress. <laughs> yeah, when there's stress. Uh, when there's stress. This is well documented in physiology. You pick up a weight, the weight's too heavy. How did you know that weight was too heavy when you put it down? We don't ever stop and ask that question. We're just like, I knew it was too heavy, right? There's a tendon in your body that connects, everywhere there's muscle fiber, there's Golgi tendons, that's the name of the tendon. Uh, Golgi tendons connect muscle fiber to the skeletal wall. It is a um, sensory organ. That's a tendon that's also a sensory organ. The Golgi tendon has something called the Golgi reflex. So when there's too much stress or tension on muscle fiber, the Golgi tendon recoils and that sends a neuromuscular signal to the brain saying too much stress and tension, put down the physical weight. Whoa. Now think about psychologically when you're stressed and tense, uh -huh. right? The body is flexing and you're literally, or there's tension, right? Yeah. And you're stressed and tense, there's tension. 
And it's the body sending a signal to the brain saying, whatever you're doing, stop. We don't mm. listen to it, right? We push through it, we get <clears throat> sick, we get ill, oh, we get into fights, all kind of things, right? Well, if you slow down and listen to the body, when it whispers, we don't have to crumble when it's screaming, right? Which is sickness oh, and disease. interesting. Right, so if we learn to listen to the subtle feelings of our body, we can be guided by what might be optimal for us in our health. Is sort of the premise here. Whoa, okay, so yeah. the subtle signals of the body rather than the crumbling that happens when it's screaming. Right. So, so, so listening to the whispers of when you have something psychologically or physically that is hard, that's hard, yeah. stressful. Yeah. Okay. And the, yeah. Okay. Okay, so Sensi, uh, where can people go to explore Sensi? Ah, thanks. Uh, the App Store. So we just yes. go to the App Store. We're, on, we're now on Android and we're on iOS. S E N S I E. Yeah. Sensi. No, just, just search Sensi. Just Sensi will be the first thing that shows up. Okay, great. On iOS and Android. Um, and what is. Uh, this is, this is so much more to unpack. We'll have to do more conversation yeah, about this. Love soon. that. Um, and the domain also is Sensi. Oh, it's actually Sensi app, sensiapp.com. Okay, sensiapp.com, S-E-N-S-I-E app.com, and search for Sensi in the app stores. Um, I wanna ask you, do you think we're in a simulation? Oh, wow, oh, that's a big question. It does feel that way, doesn't it? <laughs> I said, wow, do we have another hour? <laughs> I uh, wonder that very often. Um, I, I, it's a good question and one that I, um, I feel like there's smarter people in this conference that might be able to address that better than me, but I, uh, I do really wonder that. What do you think is the most beautiful thing in the world? What's inside of us? What's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start to cry. <laughs> what's in our hearts? What's, what's here? I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> there is something here when we embrace our bodies that is so beautiful. Oh, so beautiful, man. Yeah. These are tears of joy. Yeah. It's just so beautiful. And um, I rejected my body for so long. And the sooner I started to embrace it, the more of this, and by the way, this feels so good. I might be crying, but it's like tears of joy and bliss. It's like whatever is here is so, feels so good. <laughs> it feels so good. Ah, making a mess now. <laughs> but yeah, that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. You knew the right question to ask me. Wow. <laughs> that was a good question. <sighs> like I want some of that yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 it's like hey, tapping in like oh, that it's so yeah wow yeah. wow I really like that question by the way good Thanks. start I'm asking borrow that everyone one. that question yeah. I love that one too stand on the shoulders of giants yeah this has been such a pleasure thank you so Likewise. much for coming on the show thank you huge pleasure this is wow a joy man thank yeah. you yeah congrats on all the work thanks on building sensi thanks man everyone check out sensi let us know your thoughts in the comments below check out the link to sensi as well in the comments below get con conversing more with your parents your family your coworkers, the people online on social media get talking to them more about how we can feel and how we can identify these sources of stress better using technologies like sensi and support consciousness hacking, support simulation. Our links are below. Support the organizations, the entrepreneurs, the artists around the world that you believe in. And go and build the future, everyone. Manifest your dreams into the world. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you soon. Awesome. Peace. Woo.